Right, taking pride in their school, students at Islands Elementary not afraid to get those hands dirty to help beautify their campus. So Dave, the garden guy, is out there live with more on what they're doing. Dave, how you been, man? Seems like I haven't seen you in forever. I, I, you know, we always try to catch up via phone and we can only see each other on camera. But I'll tell you <laughs> what, we're at Islands Elementary School. Take a look at it. And you talk about getting your hands dirty. I bet you there's probably at least 50 to 100 kids out here right now. Hey, guys, I'll wave. I'll wave. There you are. So we're at, at Islands Elementary School, Gilbert, Arizona. And I'm talking to Principal Bergen. And Principal Bergen, you grew up just like Scotty and I. You were an old farm boy, weren't you? Absolutely. An old, boy, old farm boy from South Dakota, born and, and raised. And you brought a little bit of this farm boy into the the schools. Uh, schools, absolutely. There's nothing better than getting your hands dirty and a uh, real life experience. You can't learn any of this stuff in a textbook or uh, reading about it. Yeah, but you can tell. You, in fact, yeah. all the kids seem to enjoy. You've got a couple little groups out here that actually do this kind of uh, work, right? Absolutely. We have a, a great uh, bucket brigade. These kids are uh, nominated for uh, having great character, and uh, they come around and do nice things for the school. And one of the things is we want campus beautification, and uh, and it's just a, a great program and and for kids to get involved in our in our school. Now you've been the principal out here for how many? years now? Uh, I've been a principal at this school for seven years. Seven years, so you've yeah. got this in there. And I'll tell you, go, you've got one of the nicest gardens out here in Arizona for a school garden. Thank you can you. see it. there must be a couple hundred square feet. Let's show you what we're going to be putting in that garden. Of course, we've got a lot of kale going in. We're going to try a little cilantro. I found out this garden is well, got a lot of organics in it. Those organics lower the pH. Cilantro likes low pH type soil, so it works out great. If you don't have it, a little bit of soil sulfur helps out. Of course, some cabbages and some broccolis. We've got one here here that's a red vein type sorrel that we're going to put in. Sorrel is something that will last from year to year and it makes a great soup. In fact, I've been eating some sorrel soup lately and it's fantastic. Combined with of course, some lemongrass. Lemongrass is something you can use as an ornamental. It's obviously an edible, works out great in the garden, adds a little bit of foil to the garden itself. And they've got so many large beds. In fact, go on down and see how these large beds, we've got to cover up a lot of area here. So one thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put some artichokes. We just showed you those. We've got a lot of artichokes that are gonna go in this garden, along with, of course, a lot of blood meal and bone meal. Blood meal is real important this time of year. If you put it in the garden, it's gonna really stimulate that top growth that's so important to a lot of your leafy type vegetables like we like to grow this time of year. We're also putting in a lot of different types of compost in here, stimulating that microbial activity that's so important. I know I talk about it all the time. And last but not least, when we come back, we're going to put a bunch of flowers in here. And these flowers are really going to work out well by taking care of, well, bringing in those beneficial type insects. And those beneficial insects are important, especially around kids. Well, the, what, do they, what do they do? It eliminates any type of need for pesticides in your garden itself. Here's some other things. Come on over here. We'll show you some of these flowers you're putting in or these companion plants. You can see them all in here. Some nasturtium, dill, cilantro, clary sage, and sunflower. Sunflower holds up to any type of frost. So one thing we may have in the next couple days is a little bit of frost, and it's going to be important that you protect those plants, but sunflowers will go ahead and germinate, survive for the, for the, against the frost, and do a very good job of increasing the amount of beneficial insects. Well, Principal Bergen, yeah. what else you got to say, bud? Hey, I want to thank you for being here. You know, uh, like I said, I told you earlier, I learned how to winterize my grass moving to Arizona 20 years ago by watching Channel 3, the garden guy. He's amazing. <laughs> so I learned how to winterize my grass thanks to this guy. Hey, hey, Scott, with that being said, you need to start watching me more often, dude, because you know what? You may learn a few things dude, from me. Dude, I get occasion. tired of you talking you know, about. So there you go. I get tired of you talking about microbial bacteria. <laughs> No, it's not microbial activity. It's microbial activity, not oh, the bacteria. Activity, because see? microbial activity is actomycetes, fungi, okay. bacteria, and all the rest of it. That combination with kids, and you got a perfect situation for a, well, a class or even a semester of all types of stuff that kids need to learn, especially this time of day, keeping them nice and healthy. So, Scotty, back at you. Hey, Dave, real quick, let me see the thumb on your right glove. <laughs> Come on, man. 2020 is the year of the new gloves. Man. <laughs> hey, no, you know what? I had to buy a new pickup truck, dude. I can't I afford the gloves okay, right now. Okay, whatever. In fact, it's right over whatever. there. I'm carrying around a bunch of maneuver. <laughs> uh, we love you, Dave. Uh, we'll take Back a quick you, break. Uh, more Good Morning Arizona right after this. All right, what do you say we beautify our schools? This morning, the garden guy is out at Islands Elementary School in Gilbert, where students are out there working to make sure their campus is beautiful with lots of plants and flowers. So who would we send out there? Of course, Dave, the garden guy. Good morning, Dave.
Good morning, here, Farmer Scott. Hey, listen, take a look at everything that's going on out here. We got lots of kids out here. I think we got close to 100 of them out here. We are planting the garden, lots of artichokes out here, lots of flowers, lettuce, and of course, some of those wonderful flowers that actually detract those non beneficial insects. And I've got their social worker out here, Miss Shamel. And Miss Shamel, you want to tell us a little bit about what you're doing out here, don't you? We do. So we have got our bucket brigade here today, and it's grades three through six. We've got representatives from each class. And so we would like to expose them to nature instead of so they're not looking at their devices all the time. And so this is an opportunity and they, they also help with our recycling and you know they composting. Yes. Lots of planting. Exactly. And got... exposing them to the outdoors, believe it or not. And you can see all the kids out here. Some of the things we've done is actually planted a lot of different types of well, we've got some different types of flowers like your black eyed Susan, your calendulas, your bright light Swiss chard, pack choy, bok choy, marigolds, cosmos, all kinds of things, along with some sunflowers. And the sunflowers kind of went against this, well, this wall right here, and they're gonna kind of peek themselves up over the wall. Saying hi to everybody as they drive by. And of course, I'm with Miss Principal, well, Principal Bergen. Yep. And Principal Bergen, you know, you were telling me earlier that you were a farm boy at one time. Yes. And your father was too, as well. Absolutely, right? yep, yep. Farmer in South Dakota for years. For years. Yeah. And right back there, we planted some flowers for him in his honor. But you can see this beautiful garden. Tell me a little bit about how important this garden is out here. You? you know, it's important, one, for the kids. And then secondly, and I appreciate you giving that flower to me and uh, in memory of my father. He passed away in May. And uh, he loved gardening as much as I do. And like I said, we learned everything from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let's take a look at what we planted in here. We've got lots of artichokes right in the middle there. And you can see these artichokes. They're doing real well. They take a lot of room, lots of cabbage. And of course, one of my favorite, kale. And you can see it right down the middle of this garden. Last but not least, that cyclamen in that shaded area. Cyclamen are a great flower for those shade in the areas that you got a lot of shade. This is one that does very well and lasts a very long time. Some parsley out here. And of course, we put a lot of compost, bone meal, and blood meal. So with that, get out there, start gardening.